I'm Stephanie from the Youth Services Department. On behalf of the Highland Park Public Library, we'd like to welcome you to Library in Your Living Room. Today, we're pleased to present That's Entertainment Book Talk Edition. Thanks for joining me. All the books I'm presenting today are available on our website through Overdrive, which offers ebooks, e audiobooks, kids' movies, and more. Now, if you already know how to find Overdrive on our website, feel free to go forward nine slides and start the book talk. To access Overdrive, go to www.hplibrary.org. Hover over Books, Movies, More. Select Download and Stream from the Books, Movie, More section. Click on Overdrive. Click on Sign In. Using the drop down, select Highland Park Public Library and enter your library card number. You are in. Now, if you need help downloading an ebook or e audiobook, watch the how to video on our website. Our first book today is 68 Rooms by Marianne Malone which can be downloaded on Overdrive in both the ebook and e-audiobook formats. Do you like going on field trips? One of the places a lot of schools like to take their kids to is the Art Institute of Chicago. There are lots of paintings and sculptures to see, but there are other interesting spaces too, like the weapons room and the thorn rooms which are miniature rooms that have such exact detail it makes you feel like you could step right in and have some adventures. While Marianne Malone, the author of this book, was a little girl, she loved the thorn rooms. She wished she could climb right in and go out of the little door into another world. She still thought about it after she grew up. So she wrote a book about two kids, a girl and a boy, who found a key to the access hallway that runs behind the thorn rooms. It was, of course, a magic key, one that shrank them down to gerbil size, just the right size for the rooms. Ruthie would have been happy to just look around the rooms, but not Jack. He ran out of that first room's little door to the world outside. Of course, Ruthie followed him. It's easy to enter those rooms, but can they escape the dangers they find there and get back home? If you enjoy this story, look on Overdrive for other 68 Rooms adventures. This next book, My Big Fat Zombie Goldfish by Mo O'Hara, is available as an ebook on Overdrive. It all started when Tom's mostly evil older brother Mark was given a chemistry kit for his birthday. That's when Mark decided to become a mad scientist. For his first experiment, Mark decides he's going to put toxic chemicals into Frankie the goldfish's bowl to see what happens. Frankie dies. Luckily, Tom and his best friend Pradeep use batteries to bring Frankie back to life. Unluckily, Frankie is now a hypnotizing zombie goldfish. Can they keep Frankie out of the hands of Tom's evil older brother? Or will Mark use Frankie to rule the world? If you enjoy this story, look for other zombie goldfish stories on Overdrive. The next ebook is The Tale of Emily Winsnap by Liz Kessler, which is available on Overdrive in both ebook and e audiobook formats. 12-year-old Emily Winsnap lives with her mother on a houseboat at the edge of the ocean. Emily and her mother can talk about anything, well, almost anything. Her mother won't say anything at all about Emily's father, not what he was like or where he is now or even his name. And Emily's mother also hates water. Oh, not for washing dishes or taking a shower. Her mom is really big on showers. But she doesn't swim, and she refuses to allow Emily to learn. Finally, when Emily is a seventh grader, she convinces her mother to let her take swimming lessons. But when Emily jumps in the pool for the first time, something strange starts to happen, and Emily panics. She climbs out of the pool and races home. What's going on? 
Emily needs to know, but she doesn't think she can ask her mother. So that evening, Emily quietly leaves her room and slips into the ocean and becomes a mermaid. After that, Emily secretly swims in the ocean whenever she can. During one swim, she meets Shona, a full-time mermaid. When Shona takes Emily to visit her underwater world, Emily learns a dangerous secret, one that may change her life forever. You'll find many additional Emily Windsnap adventures on our Overdrive site. Today's last book, The Phantom Tower by Keir Graff, is available as an Overdrive ebook. Do you have triskaidekaphobia? Triskaidekaphobia is a fear of the number 13. And amazingly, about 10% of Americans are nervous about the number 13. Because of this, many tall buildings do not have a 13th floor. Look at the elevator panel. You will not see the number 13 on that panel. Colin and Mel had never even heard of Triskaidekaphobia until their mother moved them to Chicago to live in a fancy apartment in Brunhild Tower, a building which does not have a 13th floor. A lot of older people live in the tower, including Princess Veronica Margarita of Saldavia, who issues an ominous warning. Don't wander the building between the hours of one and two in the afternoon. What she doesn't tell them is that hour is the only time the 13th floor button appears on the elevator panel. Pressing that button and stepping off on the 13th floor may be a one-way trip to unimaginable danger and adventure. Thanks for joining us. Please check hplibrary.org for upcoming virtual programs where we bring library programs to you. And remember, when you're home and you've run out of books, think of us. We're the place you can look a click away. It's so easy and how? That's entertainment. <laughs> So remember how, don't have a cow, use entertainment. Thank you. See you next time.